It's the show that sucks with your host Harrison and Hanzo Gonzo. Dude, back in the day, they, he wanted to do like two, and like he's like, uh, I'm fat now, so like, he just made more movies. That's my impression of George Lucas. Legit, you can't play El Forte like, online it, because everybody it's... just leaves. They said that Mike Ross was the first fucking black person I've ever seen work uh, at an eSport event. I literally do like the opposite of what you should do on Twitter. <laughs> like this guy, he's streaming what he got for Christmas. What kind of douchebag <laughs> is this guy? This... Someone just died in Africa from starving, and I'm streaming via the internet. What presence <laughs> I got. With special guests from around the fighting game community. Yeah, like I froze some Kool-Aid and it turned to like, it just tasted like salt lake. What flavor was it? Was it watermelon? Like purple. Boy, okay, he like, he like forced it. He, he forced his stuff on me, and I started laughing, right? He goes, it's a gun, and he put on this plastic gun, and I was like, where the fuck am I? I was like, what the fuck is that? I was like, I got blasted on an elevator. <laughs> he does have a lot of followers. He's got some, you know, some stuff he's he, he works with, you know. To he's game. doing something right, I guess. Like, something right, yeah. So you got to, like, work that hustle. You know, I'm not really, I don't really have time to do, to all that. I just love playing. I love the scene out here. I love going to tournaments and competing and pushing myself so that's about all I got now for your hosts Harrison and Hanzo Gonzo hey what's up everybody welcome to the 12th episode of the show that sucks I hope you guys enjoyed the new intro what'd you think Hanzo hold on you're the worst. I swear to God. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's <not my> fault. <laughs> I had a whole thing ready. You had the whole thing ready. Alright, well... Obviously, there's a bunch of stuff that got announced today. Um, wait, wait, can, they, can you hear me? Is it fine? Yeah, you're, you're fine. It sounds like shit, but it's okay. fine. Alright, all right. so thank you for... Thank you to Laura Bay for helping us with the intro. Um, she's a great help and a great personal friend of mine. Anyways, can you hear some? Um, so yeah, now I don't know what to say because you interrupted me. But anyways, um, <laughs> basically the evil lineup got announced today and that's what everybody's talking about. Uh, if you guys didn't pay attention, Mr. Wizard basically just trolled f- everybody in the fighting game community for about 45 minutes. Pretty much. Um, he went on saying, you know, uh, last year was obviously huge, and basically it he made it sound like they were going to cut off games to fit, uh, I don't know, just more people in there or something? I don't know. They, they basically said it was too big and we had to cut down. And then after all of this, like, Twitter drama and everything, uh, once he got to the fifth game, everybody's like, oh, are you fucking kidding me? Like, so-and-so's not in it like you know fuck you mr wizard and then that's a bro that's a bro every every time a game got announced he's like god damn it fuck the world (laughs) he's like yeah he's like fuck the world screw everybody and then the i believe the fifth game came around or no 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 no. it was uh they, they announced of course they announced marvel street fighter and tekken which if you didn't have that on your list of games that were going to be in there, you were an idiot. Um, Pretty much. Uh, and then after that, it was a toss-up. Nobody had any idea. Um, surprisingly, SF Cross Tekken got in there. I'm hyped for Cross Tekken. I think a lot of people are not that hyped for uh, for SF Cross Tekken. Of course not. But I intend, I intend to probably play it a little bit. With my internet, it probably not, won't be reality right now um but yeah so and then that got announced but before that even mk9 got announced yeah i before injustice even before wait injustice never got announced so yeah well, i mean instead of injustice it which was is their new game which was interesting um <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah blow up um, so that got announced in that S cross second, and then everybody was like, and at this point, everybody still had the idea in their head 
that oh shit that was the last game because they were doing like the most unnecessary pauses in between every single game and and of course obviously Mr. Wizard knew that there are going to be what is it seven or eight games um eight. eight and then after that everybody's like fuck are you serious KOF's not going to be in there and then after that uh surprise KOF and everybody just had you know a little little sigh of relief you know KOF got in there yeah um Dasabro was you know still gonna jump off a bridge at this point but we just got fucking Mr. Wizard damn it um damn it. that's the that's what we're gonna call trolls now Mr. You got Mr. We got Mr. <laughs> Wizard dude he out trolled Ono man that was the that was the biggest was troll good. ever um but yeah so after KOF 13 everybody I felt like everybody was pretty happy except Dasabro at this point and then he's like, Psych, we love you anime people, so we're doing Persona 4. And everybody went crazy on Twitter. Uh, I didn't, because I didn't care. But everybody who loved anime has something to do at Evo now. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll, get to the, uh, I'll get to the other well, thing I mean, after they, we talk about the games. Had- I don't even know if I'm liking it or not or something. Sorry, Just ignore me. All right, no, you're good. You're you're good. Am I fine? Just keep talking. You sound like shit, but we'll get we'll get through it. I, well, I can't really hear you, so it's like you're now too because my shit internet right now. Anyways, uh, I'm really hyped for the Evo lineup. I think it's good. I think it's gonna be crazy that they're doing it Friday Saturday finals as well as the. Uh, five game Sunday finals, and I don't know if that is going to affect the pool play of the big games like Marvel or Street Fighter because normally that's most of the the time on the big stage was pool play for Friday and Saturday for the uh, for the big games. So I don't know how they're going to handle that. And if if it's going to be less pool play on the stage, then I'll probably have to go around with the fucking camcorder. And take a lot of match uh, videos of the hype matches and stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say. So, I mean, I, if I'm like not involved with the production or anything, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying I am or whatever, but if I'm not, then yeah, that's probably what I would want to do. Because there's gonna be some crazy ass stuff with eight games going on. That you, there's no way you're gonna be able to capture everything. Yeah, it's like it's gonna be crazy uh, unless they have at least. At least three streams this time for everything, and that that would be that would still be madness to put everything up up there. Sorry. Um, and there's the eighth game where it's a voting game, and SRK is like going bonkers right now. So I don't have the exact. Oh, let's ponder post pace bin. Where not? Hold on. Finding it for a second. What game do you want in, Harrison? What game do I want in? What What are the uh, What are the What's the list? Yeah, that's what uh, I need to well, know. I know um, fighting and ma- the pony games in it. Do you want that? I, I expect you want that in. No, I don't. You're a brony. No, I don't. No. no. Oh, you're not a brony. No. Okay. Um. So they have Guilty Gear XX, Super Smash Brothers, Melee, Super Smash Brothers. All, Third Strike, Virtual Fighter 5, Dive Kick, ooh, what? Uh, Melty Blood, um, My Little Pony, PlayStation All Star, DOA 5, Capcom vs. SNK 2, Injustice, Skullgirls, The Blaze Blue, Soul Cover 5, and then Dark Walkers 3. Okay, I have my answer. Do you want me to just say mine first? Yeah, go ahead. Alright, I-, I would just fuck it, just VF5, dude. Haha. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if I hadn't streamed Southtown before, I wouldn't care, but I've been around Virtual Fighter enough now to know that it's a pretty sick game, and uh, I would definitely want to watch it. Yeah, um, mine, I really, really love Darkstalkers, but there's not that many players anymore, so I don't know if it's justifiable for that to be in there. Uh, I really don't want, like, gimmick game like dive kick or my little pony something like that 
Uh, I think Smash probably deserves to be in it. Just because I love the Evo rule set for Smash, because they had the best rule set ever. There's like, fuck it, all items on. Fuck you, community. And like, everyone's all angry, and then like, like a couple people did the device item strats and whatnot, and I think it's fun to watch with items. Yeah, but, I mean, every. That'd be, that'd be fun. Yeah, everybody hates items in that game, but. I love items. I love everything dumb about Smash. It's. Uh, what, would you play, obviously, the one for GameCube, right? No, I play the one for Wii. Oh, the one for Wii? Raw. Oh, yeah, because the one for Wii, the one for GameCube doesn't have Olimar, and Olimar is my favorite character. Um, and I, I don't care, or like, oh, it's you trip or something. I don't fucking care. I'm Olimar. I don't shit. <laughs> <laughs> Gives a shit. I'll yeah, fucking, fucking trip in that game. Um, I don't know. Yeah, so... Brawl? Who knows? Who who knows? It's all about yeah. obviously who donates the most money. Who donates the most money? So who knows? Do you, I, I heard you were saying you were saying that uh, Smash Brothers, you know, those kids got some 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 money from their parents. So hey, who knows? <laughs> White kids, man, they get allowance, put it all toward it. That's free money, money for donations. Be like, I'm I'm doing this for charity, mom, and then they'll put the money toward it. I just want. Wait, so who publishes PlayStation All-Stars? Sony? That would be Sony, yes. Sony is just like, bam, here's a million dollars. That's I'm waiting. For I this. want that to happen so the badly. It's like a corporation, like, uh, what is it called? Ah, shit. I just totally forgot. Uh, you know when... Uh... Wow, I'm going to bring far. Lobbying, that's what it's called. Lobbying, like in... Like, uh, like in politics like people lobby, they pay a lot of money for things to get pushed through i wish there was like corporation lobbying for evo where it's just like all these corporations are like fuck it million for, no two million uh, just putting all this money toward it and like the communities like get no say because corporations are actually people and i uh, they be that side so you just cut out that for a second and repeat yourself hanzo uh, i think Corporations oh. are people, and they should be treated as such. No troll. I don't know. Just skip me. <laughs> just skip you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm fucking up. My my internet's fucking up right now. So. I think Skype is fucking up, but because my Skype just went Skype? down. Yeah, Skype went just went down on me. SRK and Skype at the same time. Did, did they? Everybody die? is just everybody's crazy right now, man. They just want to express their feelings. All right. Well, I'm going to Evo. I don't know about you. I should be going to Evo. I don't know why. <laughs> if I didn't, I don't. I don't know why I wouldn't. You know, you know what's an ironic thing about Evo for me is what? It's that the French players are going, and then they're going to be staying in a hotel that's from Paris. So it's like they never left their like. What kind of shitty vacation is that? Hey for them? man, they're gonna have home field advantage. I. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna body everybody for once. I live in Paris. I'm going to stay in the Paris. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, man. We'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, I, I saw that like stream monster post. Oh, the the it's in fucking France. What the? Yeah, it's like oh my god, people are flipping <laughs> out. It's like no, it's there's a hotel in Las Vegas. It's called the Paris Hotel. It's it's really not Can't that hard to, to go put back. together. Get that grub food. So you would you would put in Brawl, I would put in Virtual Fighter. Um I don't know if there's anybody that plays Virtual Fighter outside of NorCal, but Hey mm -hmm. man, at least they'd have twenty SoCal. people there. SoCal is a small scene. I stress small. But it's m mostly internationals. J Japanese and uh pretty much just Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> the Japs are really, really good. Um I think the one the one game that kind of surprised me a little bit um, getting in there was SF Cross Tekken. Not just because everybody doesn't Why? like the game, but uh, because it's already an IPL. So I feel like it really wasn't that big of an issue for them to get it in there. Yeah, but why have... I? Because from what I'm seeing, it's going to be an IPL slash EVO. That's going to be the two fighting game things, like the, the, the overarching leagues or whatever. From like in a couple of years, I feel like they're going to be the main competitors. And why why let your competitor monopolize something 
like content wise because say say just fucking street fighter x second the hypest game in the fucking world all of a sudden because 2013 is the most popular game it's not gonna happen well let's just say it is why would you let your competitor have all this free hype free uh exclusive exclusive content and stuff plus there's the actual community for the game and i don't think you should shit on it completely right now and the turnout last year wasn't that bad and last year's their format was retarded so i can expect them to get at least a similar turnout this year with a standard you know standard format and plus if 2013 is well recepted well received then um you can see a lot of players coming out for it i'm gonna try it again uh i mean who knows i'm i'm surrounded by a few people that play it so i mean lpn plays it james plays it i want to say hood man might play it but just because he he hangs out with lpn or he sessions with lpn a lot so i mean who knows but i i'm not gonna go out of my way to play the game but i mean i i still feel like that if i play any other game other than street fighter then i'm kind of just gipping myself I don't yeah. I don't really feel like I can be I don't have enough time or I do that's a fucking lie. I mean, <laughs> I can just be a bum and just sit at home all day and play video games, but I don't really want to. Um I feel like I only have enough time to really be good at Street Fighter 4. I feel like if Tokido can do it, anybody can. Really? Yeah. Why does he have a full-time job and He's like going to like the the best university in Japan and he's like like in a masters and something complicated maybe and he's I just mean, super smart though yeah but if he if he can find the time to do it then anyone can find the time to do it not be successful at it but I mean yeah I guess you're right I think I think it's realistic it's just hard it's yeah it is hard man you gotta it, it once you start doing that it it becomes not a game anymore. I That's feel true. It, it it's more of um like cuz right now I feel like or maybe not so much anymore. Now I feel like it's more of a game now. Um or not uh, it's always a game, but more of just a fun factor in my life and not trying to work at it, I guess, as much as I used to. I feel like after when you're getting those two, especially three games in there, it's not it's not for fun anymore as much fun anymore i guess yeah that's 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 subjective because i really like tournaments and stuff like that i really like making people salty and beating people i think it's fun that's my words where my fun come so i'm not just playing because playing is fine i try not to play that often but competing against a real person in person is like my favorite thing well that's good then i mean uh yeah i mean i guess everybody's gonna have a different opinion on it that's just mine yeah, well, well, it's wrong. So I'm just, just trying to. Do <laughs> oh shit! You're wrong. I know. I'm wrong. <laughs> Fuck! What have I been doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so the SDR trailer was at the end. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Honestly, give me your impression on it. I don't hear did it. you see my tweet? No, I don't think I did. Oh, quote unquote. Wait, where is it? Uh, quote unquote. Thank God I have Chris Seg to do my videos. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Chris Seg. Um, but seriously, it was so fucking long. It was. It just four, lasted forever. It was four minutes long, but I felt like it was seven minutes long. And it was. There really were bad. so many words. Yeah. It was there really were so bad. many words that were piercing my head. I had no idea what was going on like two minutes into the trailer. I didn't think it was a song. It was more of like someone reading off a list of words that were lightly connected and just images flashing at me. I'm like, yeah. It was like, you know, in Lost, when they go and they bring the prisoners in that one room just to like brainwash them. That's like what they were doing. I don't watch Lost, but I can imagine. Oh, you haven't like watched that. Lost? Okay, well, everybody who's watched Lost knows what I'm talking about. Or they just flash images and they yeah they flash them. images and yeah. very loud sound yeah uh yeah it was it was weird I didn't like it at all um, that was terrible yeah I just you just need to keep it short man I mean it would have been fine if it was like you know two minutes I'd have been like you know what okay but yeah there's only it, so that, many random clips I need to see that was one of my problems with the video X games fucking mega trailer that they always showed on like the cross county TV and stuff it was like 
fucking 10 minutes of them traveling to the venue like I gave a shit about the fucking travel time like wh- who cares it's stupid just I just want to see the, what the lineup is maybe some exhibitions and then just fucking dates I don't give a shit about like some song if it's dubstep I really don't care it's stupid I don't care so just what were the me- I'm sorry uh, oh, trailer. what were some of the the exhibition matches I know one uh, of them was Drew Grammy versus Clockwork Drew Grimey versus Clockwork. Uh, another one is... It was Latif versus somebody, right? I believe it's Latif versus Infiltration. Oh, I'm pretty shit. sure. Because um, Infiltration will be there. I don't know if that, I'm leaking that, but whatever. Good thing I'm not um, entering Street Fighter. <laughs> There's a lot of things I've played, though. Um, I believe there's an FGTV Wednesday Night Fights uh, AE competition. And I believe FGTV will rape Wednesday Night Fights. Oh, that, like, really? Why yeah. Why would... Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I know that was going to happen, but why would they even bother having something like that? I don't know. PR Rog, Champ, Ricky Ortiz. Versus... Hey, man, he's good at Marvel. Versus who? <laughs> versus... <laughs> who cares? Like... Versus Y2J, man, and... No, uh... no, this is an AE. Oh, this is an AE? What? Wait, yeah. Who's gonna... Justin Wong? Is he Wednesday Night Fights? Uh, who's Wednesday Night Fights? Yeah. Alex Valle? It's like Valle and then Online Tony and someone else. Maybe Hugo 101? Maybe? I guess. So them? Dude, that's like free. But it's Ricky. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it's free, yeah. Um, is Ricky, man? That's fucking hard. That is hella hard, dude. Ricky's hella good. I, don't know, I, I probably won't watch this bathroom break for me. Um... <laughs> dude, uh, it's gonna be a bar break for me. Dude, bar breaks, yeah. Dude, okay. UCI pub, hella god like. It's called the Anteaters Pub. Pretty sick. And f- our very own Offcast. Our very own, I don't know. Um, Offcast. <laughs> he's not any of us. <laughs> he's not us at all. <laughs> he's totally. I, 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 <laughs> we, he's, uh, he's a good acquaintance. <laughs> yeah, our good acquaintance, <laughs> Offcast. He's gonna hook up the streams to the bar TVs. So if you're coming to SCR, you can always hang out in the bar and watch Stream Monster. Oh, this is going to be amazing. I'm just going to sit and, there that whole time. Dude, the bar is pretty sick. And it's uh, it's literally an elevator ride from the venue. You take an elevator up and you walk like five feet and then you're at the bar. Wow, so it's going to be like, damn, this hell's sick. Yeah. Uh, the the Curly uh, venue is actually literally a foot away from the bar. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a foot. Like You just walk straight to it. So I'm going to go to the venue... I'm gonna be there, and then while I'm walking to the bar, I'm gonna have the stream on my phone, and then when I get to the bar, I'm just gonna watch it at the bar, yeah, so that way know. I don't miss any any of the stream at all. Yep, should be fun. Should be fun. I love I love I love Irvine area. It's always fun going down there. Um. Yeah, is Yipes Yipes isn't coming? No, he's the, the one person I wanted to play. Damn it. Yep, that's why. I've that's what yet. we heard from the grapevine. Yeah, yeps, yips will not be there. But yeah, the SCR trailer sucks. Hire hire me to do it next time. I'll do an amazing trailer. Guess what my trailer would be? It'd be a busty woman walking down a hallway, holding the gate, the lineup, and then then another busty woman would have the the dates painted on her. Like boobs. walking the other way. Yeah, or like, yeah, painted on her ass. She's walking the other way. Bam! Then, trailer, thirty seconds done. And then, like, really sad German music's playing. It's like Hulking Ha. I don't know what German is. And then that's the trailer for like thirty, forty-five seconds. And you instantly got everybody's attention, and you were able to give everybody information. Yeah, plus boobs, and boobs uh, are way better than a trailer. Yeah. They make a pretty damn great thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, the thumbnail. <laughs> Think of the thumbnail. Um. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, one last question for the donation thing. What game do you actually think is going to get in there? You what said Mar- you said Smash, right? Yeah. Fuck. Cuz um, well, uh, let me go look at the list. Okay, I can, I can do this by process of elimination. Guilty Gear, fucking three people play it, so no, it's not getting in. Third Strike, probably not, because they can't even save an arcade. Boom, blow up. 
Uh, Virtual Fighter, maybe, because they're kind of yeah, they're, maybe they're old, so they have money. Dive Kick, I, I gotta hope only not. if Keats donates. Dude, um, Kickstarter, man. I, that's that's probably the only way. Uh, Melty Blood, no, it had its time. My Little Pony, I fucking hope not. I swear to God, if My Little Pony gets in, I'll fucking. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video at Evo for that, where it's just me yelling at bronies. PlayStation All Stars, most likely, I would say PlayStation All Stars. Sony it, baby, bam, it's, it's, million. A, it's a tie between Smash, All Stars, and Injustice. I think. Wait, Injustice is on the list. Yeah, Injustice is on the list. Oh, it's gonna be a bidding war between Sony and Nether Realm, dude. Yeah, and I think the community, if it was, if there's no corporations involved, I think Smash would have it by a mile. I can see that. I, I, because they're just because they already have a like a big community outside of you know our typical fighting games that we know. So, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, they, they, they want to be at Evo. Um, they've always been, I, I would assume. But then again, I don't know if they like the rule set or not. So, I don't know if they want to do that. But if I had to choose something, it'd be all, just because Seth, it'd probably be All Star. All Stars. Yeah, because he, he helps, you know, run the event from what I know or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know, like, I'm assuming he really wants it there because, I mean, he's going to be there anyways. Might, might, as well, might as well do PR and shit. Yep. I don't know. I think it's going to be uh, Injustice. Injustice? Yeah. Well, I'll wait for your question later. But I, I'd be hyped for injustice. It just it again. It just depends on who throws down that money. Damn money, corporations, man. It's Citizens United and the FGC. Can't believe fucking the cannons are bringing political issues. This is how the cannons are are educating the FGC by by bringing political issues in via proxy evil lineup. It's quite genius. Yep, I think half the audience just didn't know what I just said. I didn't know what you just said, but anyways, <laughs> um, <clears throat> as he was discussing all the games and stuff, he snuck in there in a very short sentence. NCR April twenty sixth. Oh my god! Um, I know. As quickly, Terry from Canada said, um, "That is not a true date." Cough cough. Um, we have yet to set a true date, so. I I don't know if he didn't know he was not supposed to say anything or it was a leak. I think it was a leak. I think it's going to yeah, be April 26th. It's going to be April 26th, which is good cuz I didn't want it to be in March. And um I don't know where the fuck it's at though. Nobody I, I don't yeah, nobody knows that yet. I don't think that April 26th is still hell long away. Why don't they or hell hold long, hell the, far away. Why don't they hold it at the hotel that the 25th did? I don't know. That'd be a, that might be pretty good. Do you think it's I mean, bigger than uh, the school? They need that. They need bigger than the school. I know, but I'm asking. Do you think it's bigger? I, oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, it was a pretty sick. There was a few places to eat around there. It wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I think I think it'd be fine. And it's at a hotel, which is the most important part. And it's right next to the airport. Right, literally five minutes from. So it'd be very accessible to. I know a lot of tons of people fly out to NCR, so it'd be yeah. very convenient for a lot of people. NCR is the most international West Coast event besides um, Evo. So for some reason, I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That ended really dumb. Um. <laughs> Uh, I was going to say, and so, uh, and then on top of all this, they announced the four Road to Evo events. So it was SCR, which is um, a kind of su a surprise because last year I wasn't on it because yeah. I guess it started too early. Yeah, it was in, it was in, it was last, it was in uh, December. Yeah, it was like December 11th or 15th or something like that. It was kind of an, an odd date. Um, but this year, obviously, it's uh, the 18th of this month, so they were able to put it into the Road to Evo events. And surprisingly, well, maybe it's not a big surprise, but I remember last year, basically every tournament, uh, <laughs> every tournament was a Road to Evo event. It was literally every tournament. 
which was kind of like, okay, this is cool. I get seeding points. Like, it, it gave literally everybody a chance to get seeding points. Road to Evo events. SCR was announced. And then NCR um, obviously announced apparently April 26th. April 26th. Mark the date. <sighs> um, uh, and then surprisingly enough, there's only two other events. And so we got two West Coast events, and now we got two East Coast events. Final round and... No. What? Not final round. Oh, what was the other one? Oh, final Uf- round? Or, sorry, CEO and what? U- UFGT. It's Midwest. Oh, Midwest? Okay. Uh, damn, I-, I was not paying Only attention, apparently. Only one East Coast event, and that's CEO. Okay, so basically everybody's going to go to CEO now. Well, I mean, everyone's going to go to CEO, irregardless, but it might make people second guess final round. Unless IPL's like, bam, hell of money. Yeah, from what I know, I, no one's told me anything about this. I'm just, I have a feeling. Obviously, Harrison works for IGN, so he can't comment. I but, cannot uh, comment. <laughs> um, final round, ECT, and Winter Brawl look to be in the pocket of IPL. And I don't know if that extends to prize money or it's just in name or something. Uh, there, I feel like the East Coast is going the more traditional esport route, while the West Coast is staying the community Evo based. And I feel like this will be a upcoming issue in the future, because in the FGC you can't really coexist to an extent. So we'll see how this comes I- about. IPL and Evo can't coexist. Yeah, I think they can. It's just gonna be weird. It's gonna be like you know when your like your parents divorce and they like, but they're still trying to like keep it from the kids. So there's all this passive aggressiveness in them. In them, so they're like pass this old bitch. And you're like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> <You> pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> well, pineapple. Sorry. Uh, um, so I'd be interested in to see how that happens. For the record, I would I would prefer community run events to esport run events. Um. Before they announced all of the games for Evo, I seriously thought it was going to be like four or five. And at that point, um, well, before, okay, before everything, I was, I said to myself, they're either going to do eight games and they're just going to suck it up and just do everything. Or they're going to tone it down and do four or five games and the other main games that aren't on there are just kind of like, you know, do something about it. You know, throw majors themselves or something like that to keep those games alive. But I mean, they it they just absorbed all the games, so it didn't really. I feel matter. like Evo from this point on will never get smaller. Well, it's it's never got well, it's never gotten smaller in terms of people size, but I feel like game wise, I don't think it'll decrease ever. I think games will eventually die and they'll get thrown off, but I think other games will replace them, even old games. Even old games. Yeah, and then sometimes scenes will probably revive for their game. For like a year know. or something like that. Yeah, just for a year. I don't think I don't think the game lineup will decrease ever for, from this point on. But then, then again, there could be no fighting games made for two years. And I'm completely wrong, but you know, I, we who knows, man? It might be that time now. It might be that time. It's been going on for what two years now. There's been a fighting game every single month, <laughs> and I think people are just kind of over it. Maybe community games will start being the. Kind of like senior footsies or, you know, oh, stuff Senior like that. footsies for Evo. Come on, man. Yeah, I feel like community-driven games will be more... Might might be might be the new thing. We'll see, though. What do you think about IPL and Final Round? Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't see anything bad about it. I mean, eventually Final Round is going to be, you know... How big was it last year? It was fucking huge, right? It was, it's just the biggest thing in the world and it goes on being the biggest major besides Evo. At, at some point, like, um, who's the guy who runs it? That would be Larry Shinblanca. Like, is that what he does for a living? Or does he do it, like, I on the imagine. side? Or, like... I don't know. I'm positive he has a day job. I, I mean, it's like, eventually, it just comes to a point where you just can't do this as, like, a hobby anymore. I feel like running one tournament a year, you can you have enough time to fucking figure it out. Yeah, I guess you're right. For if it's one tournament, if it's if it's more than that, if it's like three or four, then no, that's like your full time job. If it's well, Jabali runs a monthly, 
every month up until CEO. Then he puts CEO up, and that's a big major. So he seems to figure it out. How big is this monthly, though? It's his monthlies get... I mean, those last one, there's fucking drunk people fighting in the parking lot. So <laughs> it's a funny video. They're putting gay chicken in the parking lot of CEO. The gayest thing in the world. Um, anyways, uh, they get like two, three hundred, I think. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, for all their games. <clears throat> but yeah, Mind. I don't know. I I just think a monthly is way different than uh, a major. Yeah, 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 yeah. A major. There's, it, there's a lot of logistics for majors, with sponsors, prize money, and uh, you know. Um, yeah, a bunch of legal people. stuff. Like. Yeah. Yeah, making sure you have staff. That isn't gonna get drunk and fucking not show up that night. Yeah, like, and then people, you know, start actually getting money, and you have to worry about that. You can't just like, yeah, it's not like a side project anymore. No, no, no. But uh, yeah, I'll, we'll see how it goes. I don't know if we're if I'm going to final round now. Not because of IPL or something, just because of the two out of three pools and Marvel. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, uh, way to bring uh, that up. Uh, uh, what do you what do you think? What do you think? Two out of three. Personally, I don't give a shit because I believe I'm a better player than the people I'm playing in in pools, and I'll make it out irregardless. And irregardless is a word, guy in chat. Um, <laughs> I think I, it's for me. It doesn't matter. I can understand why people don't like it though, because it brings back vanilla memories, and there's like fucking foaming at the mouth, like Wolverine, like yeah, Wolverine, Phoenix, the uh, brain dead, like. But I love two out of three. I don't care. Uh, three out of five is fine. It just my own my whole reason for three out of five is purely so the the Marvel gets more stream time, and I get more time to download people because I'm very good at adapting. That's all I have. I have no execution. I'm all adaption. So I like the more games, but I feel like in two out of three, I can still do it competently to win. Against better players, I don't like two out of three. But if it's just pools, it's not going to be. Uh, Johnny Donuts is probably not going to eliminate me. I mean, I say that, and Johnny Donuts is totally going to eliminate me. But I, just, I bet there's going to be a lot of Johnny Donuts going around. I have I have confidence in final round, a shit ton of players. I'm not going to get fucking Chris G first round or something, you know. And if so, I, I have a very I can I can play random and random people out very easily because my team's like nutsoes, so it's their problem. <laughs> yeah, man, you got fucking missiles and shield skills. What the fuck? But more I do, do you know. Need? I do know some East Coast players may not go because of it. I I mean, okay. Personally, <laughs> I like three out of five because I get to play more. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds retarded, but no, no. Um, like you know me, I don't play Marvel seriously really at all. And when I enter a tournament, I kind of just do it just to literally random people out. <laughs> Which maybe this is good for me because now I can Dude, random people out better. <laughs> so maybe this, maybe I'm just you know cutting my own head off here. But um, yeah, I, I just like playing more. And you know, obviously in every game, the longer sets are, the the better player is always going to shine. So I mean, I feel like it's having more games if it doesn't take an enormous amount of time is good. Obviously, doing three out of five in Street Fighter all the time, that's not going to happen. But, um, you know, Marvel games do, they do take a little bit. So I can understand people wanting to go back to two out of three for final round. Um, just because, I, I mean, I stream it. I know how long those matches take. From a logistical standpoint, yeah, you know, it's just there's too many people just to, to, to run the current schedule. So that's why they do it. So I remember people always are harping on the CBS2 where they're like at Evo, uh, like around seven or eight, like the TO would be like, "All right, it's just the best of one now. <laughs> you gotta wrap it up." So like people would like play best of ones in CBS two, and CBS two was a long game. So, but uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think it's really an issue as much as people are making it out to me. Because if you're if you're a competent player, you you were playing vanilla and you knew how hard it was, and you were doing well in that that fucking desert of a game so you shouldn't be complaining about this I think the the whole weird thing about this is is that it's 2 out of 3 just in pools yeah it's just like Evo I don't think people are complaining at Evo about it I, I don't know I just still feel it's kind of weird like 
Well, if I got three out of five, I would have beat him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then, like, then, let's just cut all that shit guy. out and just Fuck do just. Well, then why are we even doing it in pools? Just do it all the way through and then just have grand finals three out of five. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why why are we stopping why, at pools? Why why do that? Because in a set with two very very close in skill players, three out of five mitigates their in, their mistakes because those people game, are gonna meet in pools though. It's inevitable. Like, the, that shit's some, gonna happen in pools. There's some. So just I mean, fucking get rid of three out of five. Then you, you see what I mean? The mistakes and people being mad, not at the themselves, but at the game for them making mistakes. Because in this game, it's like if you make less mistakes, then you're infinitely better than the person who makes like one more mistake than you. So, it's. <sighs> It's very hard to compete in this game in a two out of three format. That being said, in pools, your first couple of rounds are pretty. Are, it's going to be pretty lopsided. There's not that many close matches, and if it is, it's between not very skilled opponents. I would say it, that's not always the case because you can always have the the case where I play in for it. You know, second round in a, in a major. That's ridiculous, though. If they're seeding. <laughs> yeah. What if that happens to you? <laughs> exactly. And then you're gonna fucking regret it. The entire time you're there, why the fuck is this f fucking two out of three? And then you're gonna go to fucking Jabali and be like, "What the fuck, man? I'm in losers because of you." Uh, well, I'm already salty at like every TO ever, so <laughs> they they make the worst brackets for me. But whatever. So I I don't know. So don't you're think... you're just banking on people being shitty in pools. I'm banking on the fact that people are always shitty in pools. Yeah. Well, if it's I, going to top thirty-two, the bottom is usually not that, not that thing. But what yeah, about Evo, man? Evo was. I I know like <laughs> it was. I know it's two out of three. I know there's a ton of people, but you know there's gonna be killers more. You and more likely than not, there's gonna be more than two killers in each pool. Yeah, I had that with. Uh, I had to do two out of three versus Predator, which was my worst nightmare. Uh, Predator from Long Island because he plays my my most hated character, which is Hagger, and I was fucking terrified the entire time because like one happy birthday for him means I just lost half the games, you know. Like he put uh he plays the like the mean team right like the big dudes. Yeah, he's Hagger Chris something. I, I think he used Hulk right. I thought. No, he doesn't use Hulk. Oh, I thought he used Hulk or Sentinel. I don't know. Maybe. I thought he used two big dudes. He uses Hagger Chris something, I forget. Maybe he's Wesker? I don't know. Wesker, maybe. I forget. Anyways. Hagger Chris Wesker, yeah. Um Yeah, so he was scary for me, but I did it. I fucking sucked it up, even though I got perfect in one round. I just feel like players should just overcome their inability to download. Just be just good. For, yeah, just be good. Because 3 out of 5 is beneficial to the game overall and as a scene sense because the game gets more stream time. Because if you look back in vanilla, the games were like Marvel got less stream time purely because it just took really fast. It just went really fast. So with an extra game added in, you get more playing time for the stream and you get more like potential comebacks. Like if someone comes back from a 2 0, it's like, well, shit. You know? I feel like. Uh, I know the stat is thrown around, has been thrown around since, I don't know, since 09 or before that or when it, whatever was a get your tournament started uh, collecting stats. The one where if you lose and you sit at the character select screen, then you typically lose again. Yeah. Um, I I still feel like now that if it goes two out of three, there's going to be a lot more people sitting at that character select screen. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> because... Before it was like, oh shit, I can just you know rub this off and you know get on to the next one and kind of you know kind of go over what just happened, but now you're gonna sit there at that staring at the character select screen and really analyze what the fuck just happened. Because on Street Fighter you get you get the two rounds for that match, so it's two out of three with two rounds you have to win. So there's there's some time in between rounds where you can think. In Marvel you don't if you fucking think of like. You're gonna get happy birthday or something like Bogo, uh, you know. And like, that's just the end of you. Yeah, I, especially in Street Fighter, man, I give away rounds all the time, just the, the whatever, just in hope that I'll just randomly win when I have a roundup or something like that. Um, 
I don't know. In Marvel, you obviously like your roundup is your game up. So you wouldn't. You shouldn't risk a game if it's yeah. you, definitely if it's not three oh three. I'd never do that. Ever. Yeah, I could probably do it in three out of five, but it's still you know, inadvisable just to to lose a game for data. But anyways, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Moving on. Moving on. Um. Okay, and the last topic that I was going to talk about. Um. So. I can't remember who I was talking to this about, but streaming, it's at least the layout of streams and stuff have been the same for quite some time now. Um, you have the gameplay, you have a couple cameras, you have the info on your screen, and that's about it. Um, not really saying that, you know, it's bad or anything, but there really hasn't been anything new in a while, um, stream wise. And I was just curious if you had anything in mind that you'd want to see new added to streaming like when you say that do you mean like on like what the people see or like features like maybe you know people see maybe you want people uh going around and being interviewed during down times or just for like for fgc stuff yeah for fgc stuff um i would like uh probably a ticker where during when you're like they have the commentator spaces or whatnot they have a ticker for Twitter comments that are obviously filtered or Facebook comments or something. So it could be like, I like, I like Street Fighter EA. You know, it's like faggot420 says, I like Street Fighter EA. And it goes whoa, across, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, the bottom. We can't use that word. Pineapple Remember, it's scumbag. 420, <laughs> Pineapple420 says, uh, you know, I like Street Fighter. And it goes across the bottom. I think that'd be, that'd be neat. It makes more people tweet. And esports is all about getting shit trending. So, do you so, think there'd be room for that? Because I mean, let's yeah, face it, on a uh, we we yeah, there just need to be a place for that. I don't. I mean, I don't know. Commentators' Kong names are on the bottom, right? Well, if you're then, going full oh, screen, that's... which in a fighting game is all the time, for the most part, um, there's virtually going to be no room uh, no, at the I top. Don't mean, I don't mean during the fighting game. I mean, during like when they oh during the commentators. commentators. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, I can see that. Just like downtime stuff like that. I think a crowd cam is always fun. It's never have never been implemented quite as well. I think. I think uh, for events at least, I think the commentators playing over the house would be fine. It it would be definitely for Evo. I think is the only one where it's like actually needed. Because Evo, it's like no one's doing anything else but watching on finals day. That's all anyone's doing. And for the most part, people talk to each other and commentate for themselves. Like, oh my god, he just did it. And it's not a big deal, but there's still like newcomers who are like purely stream monsters who are like, I need commentary, fuck. Like, and I think that'd be good for them. And it wouldn't really interrupt me talking to someone about the fucking stupid thing that Infrared did against Champ or something, you know? Um, so I think that'd be good. Yeah, they'll, okay, so uh, we actually did talk about that at IPL5 because I was there and they had that. They had that for LOL and they had that for StarCraft, I think. I, I didn't go in the StarCraft the, room. The, but thing I, with, the thing how they do that, though, but they have like soundproof booths for the players. Yeah, exactly. So they, they would need something like that. Evo, get soundproof booths. So, yeah, I mean, if Evo had soundproof booths or you know something. Yeah. You know what would be fighting games and esports at the same time? If they got soundproof booths, but there's only one, and they both had to play in the same one, that'd be stupid. That'd be fucking amazing. <laughs> what would be the point of that? So they can't hear anyone else, but they can hear their buttons, and they can look they at could just <laughs> they can like sonar their buttons because <laughs> they're so close. <laughs> yeah, they just blocks everything out. It just becomes this most ridiculous mind game ever. <laughs> I think that'd be cool. <laughs> Infiltration is just like staring at you. Doesn't even need to stare at your buttons anymore, man. He just fucking hears it. <laughs> I think that'd be funny. <laughs> like someone getting a fight in the Evo booth and you'd like it'd take a while to break it up. <laughs> <laughs> or no, they get in a fight and there's like a there's a thing that lowers them down and they just disappear into the <laughs> stage. <laughs> okay, next match. Next match. <laughs> That'd be pretty. That'd be pretty cool. Cause I, I really, I, I love the idea of soundproof booths. I think they're cool. Um, 
yeah i mean that would be the only way that would have that would happen because obviously if you've ever been to a close event or a close event a small event you know lots of the times the commentators are close to the players like and, literally two feet <laughs> yeah like literally two feet away and they really um you know kind of push players to do stuff they wouldn't normally do just because they're so close to the commentary yeah that's that's it's much it's it would be the same in uh league of legends to or like starcraft i'm like oh my god you know he has a secret base i'm like oh he has a secret <laughs> it's like not like you can't do that for them so it's not as bad as this because with fighting games it's very much on the screen you know you know everything what's happening you know it's not, i'm not i'm not having a hidden fucking doom factory throwing out missiles from uh, like out of the screen you know it's not a factor it's like everything on the screen is what's happening but everyone. it's still there you know what but i mean still there for like he's not punishing this yeah he's not oh, punishing that punish yeah <laughs> yeah like oh and the and of course the other guy just looks at the commentator like what the yeah, fuck like, man fuck you <laughs> um yeah that'd be that'd be cool a little feature for streamers specifically i would love maybe multi-camera setups where like okay so you're looking at the twitch page right now and it's just a fucking it's just a video like a like a, a box and there's video in it. I wish there was tabs, so you can switch between the actual events at the stream. At the, I mean, the streams at the event. Say if there's three streams at the event, I have a little tab for each one, and I could just switch, and it's always on, and it'll always, you know, play. And then I'll switch the audio when I go to this one. Or I can have different cameras set up at the event, like maybe like a couch or something, or like one of the booths. And I can I can manually go to each camera and just see what's happening, something like that. Yeah, because like right now, uh, what is it? You basically just need to have all the streams open at once. Yeah, you need to have all the streams open at once, or you can go to the little community stream thingies and click on the the, the below things. But I just think that'd be cool for like uh, consolidating an event or something. So like someone who doesn't know like there's more streams going on or doesn't want to keep like inputting the URL can just click it right there. That's good. Um I I honestly don't know what I would want. Uh You're a streamer, you should know. I know what I I know. Um I just want I don't know. I, for me, I would want just roaming cameras. I think that's so cool. Just like yeah, roaming, cool. like roaming around, like oh shit, this guy's going crazy, or like, <laughs> you know, like whatever. Oh shit, that guy's got a baller ass sign. Like one's Marvel, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, for me, like as a streamer, I want the person watching it to obviously it's never gonna happen unless you're actually there. But I want them to feel like they're there as much as possible without actually being there. Yeah, like a dedicated uh, R cam. <laughs> dedicated R cam. <laughs> can I say that word? <laughs> yeah, you can say that word. I mean, R that's R. Cam, yay. Oh, I thought you were gonna say R cam. My bad. Oh damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Blow up. Um, but yeah, uh, I feel like you know that's that shit costs money, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it's hard to do. It's like, uh, uh correctly. It's it's one it's one giant step up from what we are right now. That's for oh sure. My God. It'd be amazing purely for the fact, like, say there's a, a hype off stream match happening and they just can't put it on. They can have a separate camera stream where they, they just run over to the thing and film it. You know. Yeah. So they just have like a little extra, you know, tiny window yeah. or something say, like that. Say if yeah, say if I want to watch Marvel Pool or something like the hype Marvel pools matches but not necessarily on the stream I got the secondary camera stream you know just going around to the setups because logistically to stream every single setup is retarded you're never going to do that and I feel like a camera is like way better but I want to try and do that from now on I want to bring my camera to events to capture off stream matches just because people don't see like some of the awesome matches that happen I feel like at Evo was especially true because there's so many so many matches in Marvel that were just crazy the one Bonkers. matchup in particular was Daigo versus Latif and everybody's like why the yeah, fuck was that match not on the stream that was not on stream and L. you know Joe, Terrence, yeah you know? L.I. Joe beating uh, beating like? body not even beating him he bodied him and then he beat uh, Arturo and that yeah. was insane 
neither of those matches were on stream. No one, no one saw those, and they were crazy. So I feel like there should, there should be like more camcorder people. Yeah, uh, I'll try and do that more often now. There needs to be camcorder monsters, man. Camcorder monsters, get that YouTube money. You just need partnership. Get that two thousand views, man. Get that four dollars. Get that four bucks. Hey, $4. man, if you got Latif and Daigo on your oh, um, man. camcorder <laughs> and you upload that shit to YouTube and you tag that shit correctly, man, you're gonna get a ton of views. Yeah, that's like like sixty k. It's like sixty k right there. It's like sixty bucks. Anything with Daigo in it, like yipes or something, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, I think that's games. it. You, you, I thought you had a question about games coming up. Oh, oh. Uh, well, it's kind of a joke question because there are none. Uh, but injustice. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. What is your most anticipated fighter coming out this year? Justice. Day Injustice. One. I'm telling you my strategy right now. I'm gonna share with the world so someone can copy this. I shouldn't do this, but I am. I'm buying Injustice day one. I'm filming all the fatalities or whatever, all the trailers and whatnot. I'm just throwing it up all on my YouTube and doing a shitty combo video and like for every character or something and then I'm selling it back to GameStop for full price and then I'm just going to have it up on my YouTube just to generate views just so I can get free YouTube money because I'm a scumbag oh do you know what game I'm hyped for? <laughs> Senor Footsies oh well there you go <laughs> bam let's go Senor Footsies side tournament at Evo that's going to be I, at, I hope that's at Evo I hope it, you know, he, Luke will probably bring it Hopefully he does. That'd be so sick. Yeah, you can like bring it, sort of like the uh, the Japanese uh, Marvel players have this. Uh, more people have it now, but it was basically an Xbox in a suitcase with a screen, and they just open it up and just money match people on the spot. <laughs> yeah, they have that at Dragon Lounge, dude. Somebody brings it with oh, like yeah. a PS3 in it. It's the money match station. Yeah, it's, uh, the the Japanese had two of them, and it was just the funniest thing I've ever seen. Just portable, you know, stations. I think it's awesome. And he could just, you know, do something like that with a PC, a little PC or something. Yeah, would be godlike. Dude, just imagine fucking, like, Daigo and, like, John Choi playing Senior Footsies. How <laughs> godlike that would be. Dude, Daigo playing Senior Footsies. That'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be so sick. Yeah. Hopefully. We'll convince him. We'll convince him. That, I don't think it'd be that hard to be like, dude, come on, you gotta yeah. play this game. <laughs> it's Daigo, the best. Play, play this game Daigo, or else. Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> um, I think I okay. Now I think that's it for the most part. Yeah. Uh, I think we, uh, do we have any questions? No, we don't have any questions. That's all right. I I didn't really post it because we're having so many difficulties. If anyone in the chat has a question, I'll take it like a two like a minute. Yeah, a minute. <sighs> Spin them out. Questions. Let's go. What's my favorite movie? No one asks. I don't even know it. What's your favorite movie? Next question. Oh, uh, of this year? Well, we can do that. Oh, yeah. Okay, choose. that's a good one. Uh, what's your, what's your, uh, you know, what movie are you looking forward to this year? This year? Because there's hella movies coming out. Oh, I don't even know. I was, I was focused on 2012. Dude, I'm pretty down for, uh, God, now I can't even fucking remember. There's, there's so many sci-fi movies coming out. Yeah, there's some Marvel movies that come out I want to see, but. World War Z looks pretty sick. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Um, Let's see. Uh, there's that Tom Cruise movie coming out. Uh, can't yeah. remember what it's called. Yeah. Then there's another one called After Earth with Will Smith. Oh, that looks weird. It Not. looks, yeah. Um, dude, um, was it Pacific Rim? That, that looks stupid. <laughs> that looks so stupid. I'm going to see it because it looked cool. It looks hella <laughs> sick. I know it's going to be stupid. It's like, oh no, dinosaur aliens from the sea are coming. Thank God we built this robot just now. Okay, boom. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the end of the Yep, yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, guys, uh, looks like that's the end of the show. Yeah. Um, you guys can check me out on Twitter at HarrisonSBA. You can check Hanzo out at, what do you what do you go by? Hanzo Gonzo. Uh, make sure you guys go to <laughs> iplaywinner.com. Check out all that stuff there. Um, of course, all the updates will be posted there regarding the daily blow up, or which I just made a new one the other day. So go out and check that out. Um, you know, this or reviews that uh, 
phantom not posts or you know just a bunch of other random stuff uh, you can check out my youtube at youtube.com slash the waste of flesh i just put up a new video about pokemon about pokemon oh yeah shit. it's terrible <laughs> <laughs> not pokemon itself i'm not judging that it's just my video is bad all right guys and of course if you uh are listening to this later you obviously know that uh i download this to mp3 you guys can go to the the podcast section at iplaywinner.com go to the the show that sucks archive and all of the past podcasts are there with a link to the youtube and a link to a direct download for the mp3 this is harrison with hanzo gonzo see you guys later peace